How to create a Wix website for booking appointments and setting up your schedule. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll cover the basics of what you need to know and how to actually achieve that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Simply you want to create your account for free for Wix.com. Uh, but let me just discuss the pricing real quick. Um, Wix website could be for free, but if you want to do booking, and you're trying to get paid online through Wix, that means you will need to actually upgrade to Wix Premium. Because the free website of Wix, yes, you can create it, yes, you can have people visit it, but if you, you can't really get paid through it with the free version. That's all you need to know right now. But I'm just going to do everything with the free version, and you can even do the same. But then once you're actually ready to receive payments, then that's maybe when uh, you actually go in and set up your payment methods and upgrade. So with that being said, let's just go in and get started. First, go to Wix.com, sign up, and click on Create New Site from the Sites dashboard. Once that's uh, open, we are just going to click on Build with Wix Editor because there's a difference between Wix Studio and the default Wix. Uh, maybe you would want to see the difference between them, but for this video, we're just going to be discussing the default Wix Editor, not Wix Studio. So this page is for Wix Studio, so we're just going to skip this and go back to the default editor. And then from here, it's just going to ask us with AI whether we want to build our site. But I prefer, personally speaking, uh, to build my site without uh, AI. It's just going to be easier for me, personally. So, set up without chat is what I'm going to go with. And then from here, we simply just want to type in or add uh, what type of website you, want, uh, you would want to create. So, we can just do... Um, you can really type in what, whatever type of service you would want to offer. So we can just, let's just search up bookings. Um, okay. So in this case, what I'm going to actually do, because I can't really think of a service right now, I'm just going to skip, uh, but you can feel free to type that in, which I highly recommend because it's going to be easier for you if you do it that way. But right now, let's just go ahead and skip. And let's say you already have a Wix website and you would want to start um, setting up the bookings part of things for it. So here, I'm just going to give it a name. So we can just do bookings site. Uh, this is only a test site uh, either way. So this is why I'm naming it that. And then the site goals, what, if, what do you actually want to use the site for? So offer services would be a good one. And also maybe... Um, uh promote myself and click on continue there you go now once you do that it's going to recommend some apps for you and the most important one in this case is bookings uh, bookings is going to be the one that allows you to set up your uh, different services and set up your schedule and allow people to actually book you or book your services so if you want that Make sure you select this and click on continue. And by the way, if you did uh, miss this page, you skipped or something, it's fine. I'm going to show you how to install it later on uh, either way. So click on continue if you're following me and just go ahead and click on continue to dashboard. Now from here, it's just going to generate the dashboard for us. And the next step for us would be to actually design our site. So it's going to be fairly simple. You want to go to the home page and go to site design on, on the top right corner. But first, uh, just quick note, you would want to also before that go to settings and just change some of the general settings and things like that. Uh, especially if you just go to general, you would want to go to business information and, you know, change the name, uh, your logo, stuff like that. Make sure you add it in here. Now that's done. We can feel free to just go back. And we can actually see we have the booking calendar here, but we just simply want to design the site first and also show you how to install the app if you did not follow the steps correctly or you skipped a step. Uh, a step. So we can just click on site uh, design on the top right corner. It's going to ask us for the first time whether you want to design it with AI or customize a template. Again, I'm personally going to go for the template one because it's going to be easier. This way you can just pick any template for any niche. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, as long as it looks good, you can pick it and just change the elements later on. So I'm just going to click on pick a template and pick one real quick. Now, again, this is not going to be a full in-depth video of how to design your site and things like that. I'm just going to cover the basics about setting up your bookings and your site um, overall. So, yeah, let's just go uh, for this template and click on edit. 
obviously you can feel free to view it first before before you do that and once you're happy with it you can just click on edit all right so once you're done with picking a template this should open up here for you what i'm going to do is just increase it to a hundred percent uh, and now what we want to do first if you did not follow along and you did not install the app just yet and you're not sure how to do so it's very simple you want to go to the left side here you should be able to find add apps just go in and click on that and uh, type in bookings and you should be able to find wix bookings so just type in bookings like that and once you hit enter you should be able to find wix bookings just go in and click on that and click on add to site and you should be up to speed so now that we have our site uh let's just talk about designing the site real quick i'm not going to uh, take a lot of time here for the designing aspect of the site um it's very simple it's a drag and drop editor and editing things in it is very simple if you want to adjust something you simply just go in and click on it so whether you want to change the background or something feel free to do so from here for example, here you have a cloudy background and let's say we want to change that. So you simply want to click on the section and click on change background. But then you realize that this does not actually have the background, which is the clouds background. So in this case, that means that this background is actually going to be a website uh, background. This is not a sections background. This is going to be a website background. And to change that, you're going to be able to find it within the site design settings. So just click on that and then click on page background. And this is going to be where we will find this um, cloud thing uh, image. in. so as you can see, if we click on the background, we should be able to see the, um, the image here, but we can feel free to change it by clicking on an image and then uploading your own. But uh, this is how to adjust things. For example, if you want to adjust a text, you simply just click on it and click on edit text. If you want to adjust something else, feel free to do it exactly the same way. Uh, if you want to add something rather than, you know, editing something first, if it's a section, click on add section either, either at the bottom or the top of a specific one, you should be able to see that option. And then you can feel free to add elements by clicking on the add elements tab on the top left. And then you can feel free to add text, images, buttons, strips, whatever it may be. So there's plenty that you can feel free to add and usually it's just going to be a drag and drop. So let's just drag this and drop it right here and you can feel free to now increase the size for it and so on. So this is going to be, you know, a, the basic tutorial of how things work with the editor. But either way, I'm just going to remove this and talk about what's actually important here, which is going to be the booking part of things. So once you actually install the app by default you're going to be able to go to the pages and menu section here and you can feel uh, from this tab you can find all sorts of pages and because we installed the app we should be also be able to find bookings pages and for the bookings pages there's plenty we have the book online which is where people usually go to actually book uh services we have the services page, which is going to list out the different services. We also have more things like booking calendar, booking form, and so on. Now, how do we actually set up our schedule and the booking stuff? So this actually looks, you know, good. It's going to include what we have. Simply after you're done with your design, simply click on save and save and continue. And once it's done saving, click on that and go back to the main dashboard. If you want to do that, you simply click on the logo of your Wix here on the top left and this should take you to the main dashboard of the site from here we are just going to start setting up our booking calendar so you simply just want to click on or hover over booking calendar and first we're just going to do work schedule so click on work schedule this is going to allow you to set up your default hours and things like that and also staff members uh, and so on so uh, first, we're just going to uh, adjust our default hours. So in order to do so, you want to click on more actions on the top right corner and then click on edit default hours. And by the way, you are also going to be able to manage staff from the same place. Just click on that and click on manage staff. I'm not going to dive into that either. So I'm just going to click on edit default hours for the time being. And then you're going to find yourself in this section. So tick on whatever days you're going to be working on. So let's just say we were going to be working uh, from Sunday till Thursday. So we're just going to tick off Friday. And then you would want to set up the actual uh, timing. So you can have you can have this one and you can also have 
two different shifts or three it doesn't really make a difference you can just add them from this plus icon but if it's only one you can feel free to just change it from here you just click on that and this means um this means am and this means pm it's in arabic character characters because of my settings so pick the time and then just pick the start time and then also the end time and you should be good to go so we can feel free to set it up to be like that and you would want to basically do the same for the rest of them and once you're happy with this you can simply click on save from the top right corner and this saves our default hours for our schedule so people you know this is going to be where, when people can actually book us through this time period now that we're done with the actual uh work schedule you would want to even uh, if you click on calendar or booking calendar you should be ob uh, able to see all the different uh, services that you have not services sorry the bookings that you have from here or even you can view it in a list view but now in order to actually s uh, set up services that you would want to offer because right now we only just did the hours you simply go to the catalog section and then just click on booking services and then from here, I'm just going to click on uh, whether it's an appointment or class. I'm just going to go for appointment and click on for, uh, start from scratch. So let's just say that it is an appointment. So the first thing is going to be uh, the name of the service. So just go in and give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to name it test service. I already did that. So test service one. Give it an image because it's just going to look good with an image, uh, a cover image so people can actually see it. Obviously, just pick an image that references the type of service that you want to be using. So I'm just going to use that one and, uh, because this is only a test. Tagline is going to be a little bit, not a description, not a full description, but more like um, a, a highlight, you could say. So just highlight like that. And you can actually see that preview right over there. And obviously, a description is going to be more detailed, exactly what people are going to be getting if they actually book this. So go ahead and add a description. Uh, next up, we have the duration of the actual uh, service. So how, how long does it take for you to finalize the service with uh, the uh, person? And then you also have the buffer time. Buffer time is going to be basically uh, the time between each service, meaning... If you have uh, one booking and then you want a 10 minute break before the next one, this is pretty much the buffer time. And then you also have the uh, price and payment. So if you click on that, so choose how clients can pay for this service, whether uh, per session is going to be a one time payment with a plan or per session or with a plan. So I'm just going to stick to per session. And then we have it to be a fixed price. And then you would want to state the amount. Here is going to be the payment prefer preferences. I'm just going to keep, leave it as it is. So pay an entire amount uh, online. Or you can even make it pay entire amount in person if you don't want to upgrade your Wix uh, to premium. You also have the locations tab here. So for the location, obviously, you're just going to click on edit. And then in this case, if you just want to click on save and continue, go ahead and set up your location. This is going to be where people are going to meet you for the service. Or if you want, you can even make it a video conferencing service. If that's the case, just click on add. And again, you, you would want to add something like Zoom or a link to another service. And that's going to also work. Now, assign staff. If you wanted to assign to a specific staff member, you can feel free to just, uh, you know, set it up from here. And then you can just feel free to click on, you know, images. If you want to start adding your resources or images, feel free to do so from the bottom here. Uh, I'm not going to edit the booking form and things like that. I'm just going to save it as it is. And this is going to count as a service. Just make sure that it is visible on your site and app. Once this is done, you can feel free to create another one if you want. Just click on add a new service. But usually you're just going to stick with this one. And now we can just feel free to preview it from the home page. People now can actually go to the uh, bookings page and be able to set up an appointment with us or schedule an appointment with us that easily. So let's just go and preview the site, click on preview, book online, which is the page, and you should be able to see our services. And if we just click on book now, we should be, we should be able to see only the uh, scheduling times that we have set up. So the available days uh, are going to be available like this i can't really do it i just need to uh first check out with a proper date and then set up the time and 
uh, that's pretty much it click on next and pay for it obviously so this is pretty much it for this video again this is going to be the basics uh you would want to obviously you know do more things with your site to design and more scheduling services and stuff like that and also set up setting up holidays if you want to take some days off you can also feel free to do that from the settings so there's a lot of things that you will need to still figure out but hopefully this is going to get you up and running and you should be ready to go so hopefully you found this video to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching